Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how you can create a custom blueprint node that will sort um, arrays of integers for you. So if I hit play here, you guys will see this printout of numbers that came up. So this is from a random array. And the numbers are all out of order. Then afterwards it says sorted high scores and you see they start at 89 and go down all the way to zero. Now I was able to do that with this little custom node here that I called integer sort. So it takes in a random array of integers and then you can have it sort um, from high to low by checking this box here or from low to high if you uncheck it. And it outputs the sorted array here. And that's what I had print uh, to the screen. Now, in order to do this, we are gonna need to do some C++, but I promise you guys, you don't have to know any C++. All you need to do is be able to copy and paste and follow some directions. All right, so we're going to go into a different project. And what I'm going to do is we're going to right click in the content browser. And we're going to say create new C++ class here. And what we're going to do is scroll down to the bottom. And you're going to see blueprint function library. We're going to select that and hit next. And then we're going to have to give our node a name. So I'm going to call this sorting array. You guys can call it whatever you want. And we're just going to hit create class. Now once you do this, it's going to open up Visual Studio. So you guys do need to have that um, downloaded. If you don't, you can just go to Microsoft.com uh, and find out um, where to download that. There's a free version, the 2017 Community, and you should be good to go. All right, so we're just going to give this a little bit and wait for it to compile. OK, so once it's done compiling, you guys should see it should have automatically opened up Visual Studio. And you should be staring at a screen that looks something like this, with two tabs up here. One says sorting array.h, and one says sorting array.cpp. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the .h file. This is called the header file. You guys don't really have to worry about that, but I'm just letting you know what that is. So you're going to copy and paste what you see in the description. Everything above the dashed line here. You're just going to drag, control C, and you're going to go back to Visual Studio. And somewhere in between generated body here and this last curly brace, you're going to click anywhere in there and just control V. Then we're going to hop over to the .cpp. So we'll click on that. And then I want you guys to take everything below the dashed line, control C, go back into Visual Studio, and just control V. Now the last thing you guys need to do is we'll go into the header file, the .h, and I want you to just copy this part right here that says U sorting array, control C, and then you're going to go back into the .cpp tab. And everywhere you see U name of your function, this part, I want you to highlight that and hit Control V. Make sure you have two colons at the end. And make sure you have a space and the word void in front of it. Now there's two other spots that you need to do that. Right here it says void U name of your function. Do the same thing, Control V. And then scroll down a little bit further, you'll see another void, U name of your function, Control V. And then you can just right click over here, starter content, or whatever the name of your project is, that's what will be over here, and just hit rebuild. And we'll let this compile for a little bit. 
Okay, so now that it's done compiling, you guys should see down here it says rebuilt all, one succeeded, and that's what should come up for you. If it says something failed here, it didn't compile properly, you might have accidentally deleted a colon or something, just go back and double check. Now we can hop back into our project, and I'll go into the first person character, and right in here I have um, an integer array that I've created and it just has 15 or 14 random numbers in here and what I'm gonna do is just hook this into a for each loop and we'll print this out so compile and save we'll hit play and you see this is a random list of numbers so we'll go back into our character and now I'm going to drag out from here, and if you type out sort, you'll see integer sort comes. So once this is completed, we'll have it sort. And then we'll take the sorted array, and we'll go through another loop. And I'll tell it to print out sorted high scores first. And it's just doing the same thing, going to loop through each element and print. And there's a little boolean here for descending so if you check this, it'll go from high to low. If you leave it unchecked, it'll be low to high. You can compile and save. And now if we hit play, you can see it's random first. Then it says sorted high scores, and it goes from 100 all the way down to 2. There's also um, two other sorting functions in there. So if you just type in sort, You'll see it says float sort, and again, sort, string sort. This will do the same thing except with floats and strings. So this can order a string alphabetically, and this will just take a float instead of an integer. So these are now three custom functions that you guys can use, and you guys did some C++ today. So I hope you guys thought that was helpful, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more tutorials. Alright, see you guys later.